Alright, good morning preschool friends. Happy Friday. We're going to do our morning meeting with our yoga on Friday. And before we start, I want you to go get something. We're going to do yoga with a stuffed animal. Okay, so you can pause or wait for a moment. Come right back. But bring a stuffed animal. Um, not crazy big, just like a nice one that you can hold and hug. Alright, so we're going to do stuff with our stuffed animal. So go get your stuffed animal, pause this, this video. All right, now I hope you're back with your stuffed animal. Okay, we're gonna start with just sitting down, nice and relaxed, have your stuffed animal in your lap. Put your hands on your knees and just take deep breaths, breathe in, like smell the flower. Hold it, one, Blow out the candle. Smell the flower. Hold it. Blow out the candle. Good job, friends. Now this time we're going to do it with our hands up. Breathe in and put your hands up like the sun's rising. And then hold it. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. Your hands on your stuffy. Okay, breathe in again. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Breathe out. Hold on to your stuffy. All right. Well, a lot of times what we're going to do is just have our stuffed animal like on our body and help us with that balance. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put our feet almost like a diamond or even tuck in and you can do a butterfly wings. We're just going to flap our wings. And you can put your stuffed animal on your toes as you flap your wings. Good job. All right, now you can even stretch out your feet. Have your stuffy in your hand and see if your stuffy can walk all the way to the end of your toes and reach your toes. Come on, stuffy. Mine are a little tight from just it being morning. So sometimes you might notice that and go, Oh, I can't stretch as much as I did yesterday. Well, maybe it's the morning or maybe you've been relaxing and your body needs to warm up a bit. See, now I can stretch a bit farther. Good job, Penguin. All right, now we're gonna go on our knees and you can have your stuffed animal on your lap or just fold it in your knees like that, okay? And we're gonna do um, the same thing we just did with our hands. Well, we're gonna reach out and we're gonna have our stuffed animal Make a circle. I'm going to move back so you can see my stuffed animal. I'll make a circle with your stuffed animal on one side. And crawl in the front. And crawl to the other side. See if your, your stuffed animal can go farther. Go with both hands. Good job and come back in. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we I started on this side. On the left side. Now I'm going to start on the right side. So reach out to your right. Curl, reach your stuffed animal all around. It's like they're going on a little trip. And then they're walking over here. Good job, and then put them back on your tummy. All right, now we're gonna put our, tum our stuffed animal on our back. So I want you to go on the table pose. So you look like a table, you're on your knees, your hands are out, and then put your stuffed animal, and it might fall, and maybe put it in a spot where you can lay it on there, okay? And then we're gonna do nice stretches, okay? So. Have your tummy pull to the ground. You're not gonna really pull it, but just have your tummy go down and you look up. That was the cow one. And you see my, I can feel my stuffed animal move. Now I'm stretching my back out. Make it curve and make your tummy go in. So tummy go out and down. Curve your back up. Pull your tummy in. Like a cow. And then do a kitty. Alright, let's see if we can like have our stuffed animal on our back and then lean back into ch um, child's pose. If your stuffed animal falls off, you can just put it back on. Maybe you can find another safe place for it. It's okay. Alright, let's do something. Let's have our stuffed animal come here. Okay. 
You guys ready though? We're gonna do a little bit of a challenge. Put your um, knee up and you're gonna put your stuffed animal on your knee. Now, you may not be able to sit up just because how it's made. So if you need to do it flat, that's fine. Okay, or sideways. So see if you can put your stuffed animal on your knee and hold it there. You can even put your hands out for balance. And if you have to stop, then come back up. Good job, see if you can balance on your knee. And you can flex your toe like this, or you can point your toe. Okay, put it down, shake it out. All right, put your knee up on your other side. Put your stuffy on your knee. Hold it, hold it. Let's do five, four, three, two, one, zero. Catch it. Put your legs out. Wiggle them out. Okay, now we're gonna try. You guys ready? We had our knee in front of us. Now we're gonna put our foot behind us like that. See if you can put your your stuffed animal, it's like put it behind your knee and then squeeze it. Okay, see if you can squeeze it. Any family member doing this, you're gonna love this. You're gonna feel it in your your um your glutes there. Okay, so squeeze it, don't let your stuffed animal fall. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, let go. All right, now I just did this leg. I'm going to do the other leg. You always have to balance them out. Okay, so I'm going to put it behind my knee. Squeeze it. And put my, knee, my leg up. Oh, see, I lost my balance, so I just have to start all over. I don't want you to be upset and say, oh my gosh, Clara did that for five seconds, and she didn't fall at all. But Clara is a ballerina. I've done a lot of things where I have to balance. But I still fall. I just fell after less than a second. So it happens. Gotta give yourself grace and say it happens. Five, four, three. I can come back and do it again. Two, one, zero. Well done. Okay, shake those legs out. Shake it out. All right. I think we should try to put it on our head or on your shoulder. And you can do the same thing that we did behind your knee. If you want to squeeze it, you can. But I would do it like here under your chin so you're not gonna be like sideways. Although that feels kind of good to stretch our knees, our, our, what is this? Our neck out, okay. But I'm gonna try to put it on my head, okay? But I might have to switch to this. But what we're gonna do is put it on our head, see if they can stay there, and then we're gonna do lunges. That means we're gonna step forward. You don't have to make a big step. Okay, I'm putting my step down. You don't have to go Whoa, like that. You could just go like this, like you're taking a step forward. And it's about bending your knees, okay? See so if you can just bend your knee enough to have a balance, okay? They also call us warrior pose if we will put our hands up. You're balancing your stuffed animal on your head. It might fall and you might have to hold it. That's okay too. You might want to put it on your shoulder too. That's okay too. All right. Hold it. And then we're gonna do the other foot. I'm gonna try to put it on my head again. So I took a step with my left leg, now I'm gonna step with my right. Hold it. My hands out. Good job, friends. Whew. All right. Now we're gonna do, hmm. right, it's called downward dog. We're gonna do it, but we're gonna do something called downward dog and planks. So now I'm going to put my stuffed animal on my back, okay? This is the last big challenge we're going to do. Okay, so start by laying on the ground, but maybe even like, just like up like this, okay? So you want to so you wanna put your stuffed animal on your back, and this is called plank, so you're like, have your toes tucked under, like they're going to push you up, and put your hands down to your side, and push yourself up. A plank is almost like a big board. Pretend that you are a big board um, of wood. You want to try to be as flat and as straight as you can. Now what we're going to do is come up like this. And it's called, it's actually downward dog, but it's also called dolphin to go back and forth. So let's do that. I'm sorry realizing that you notice 
If I keep going up, oh, my stuffed animal's gonna fall down. That's okay too. How about we go like this? We're gonna go from our plank, and I know it might be hard. If you're like, oh, that's really hard, then just put your knees down for a bit, okay? You can go like plank, and then do the dolphin. Oh, do you feel the stuffed animal rolling? Let's do it with a couple back and forth. Three, four, and then the fifth one, we're gonna go all the way up until our stuffed animal rolls down. So let's try to make it, yeah. And that actually helps you get in the right downward, po downward dog pose. All right, friends, oh my goodness. That was a lot of challenge. You guys can do them again. There was like five different ones that we did. And if you have another way to put your stuffed animal on your body and do some pose, like I was even thinking there's other poses, like a treat pose where you can put it here, stuff like that. We put it on our knees, but maybe different places. All right, but before you experiment with other stuffed animal poses, let's come back and sit. Put our stuffed animal in our lap. Let them rest a bit. Let us rest a bit. Put your hands in your heart. Take deep breaths. And as you breathe, I want you to think, I am strong. Next breath, think, I can help others. Another breath, I can be kind. Also, uh, I can be kind to others and be kind to myself. All right, friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. That really helped me get my day started. I feel relaxed and also really strong. I hope you feel that way too. Maybe a little tired too, but that's okay. All right, preschool friends. Have a great day.